The Illawa FCA Game of the Week is brought to you by DJC Applications. Thanks, Charlie Brown. Let's go! Week 5 pushes us past the midpoint of the regular season on the high school football fields. And certainly it's pivotal for both Bureau Valley and Erie Prophetstown. The Storm looking to keep their playoff hopes alive, while the Panthers can move to 4-1 and, one and strengthen their hold on making the postseason. A wonderful night on the Prophets Town turf. In the opening seconds, Bureau Valley has the greatest show on turf. Freshman Drake Davis to Parker Newhalfen, a 71-yard TD strike. It's quickly 7-0 Storm. The Panthers bounce back strong behind the strong running of Dylan Binion. He wins the 40-yard dash to the zone. No point after, the Storm still leads by one. Later in the opening quarter, Dylan Binion continues to carry the load. Good blocking up front. He puts his head down for a nine-yard gainer, and it's quarterback Philip Coors finishing that scoring drive from the one, and the home team leads 14-7. Second quarter, BV driving again, but the Panther defense puts it into gear. Austin Shoup gets the pick to calm the storm. Later, it'll start something for Erie P-Town. It's Dylan Binion again sweeping for a 20-yard pickup, but the Panthers Fumble inside the 10 as the storm stays within hailing distance. Again, EP's defense delivers. This is why you practice the tip drill. The Bureau Valley pass is tipped and snared by Erie P Town's Jared Forward. It leads to another EP tally. On the misdirection, Jordan Chandler motors 17 yards for the touchdown, extending the Panther advantage to 20 to 7. But there's a storm brewing before the halftime gun. First, Josh Mead is relentless on this thing of beauty, breaking several tackles, turning up the speed, 40 yards into the end zone, cutting it to 20 to 13. EP tries to get it back before halftime, but on fourth down, BV's Tommy Johnston and Nevin Johnson combined for the big tackle to put the ball back in the hands of the Bureau Valley offense. And with just 20 seconds left before half, Drake Davis drops it off to, yes, that man again, Parker Newhoffen. You can't give this guy an inch. He'll take 71 yards. He outruns the field for the score. It's just 20 to 19, Erie Piton at half. The Panthers respond with a scoring drive to open the third quarter. It's Dylan Binion, touchdown bound once again. The two pointers good, 28 19 Panthers. Now, BV faces fourth down, and it's a fake. Parker Newhoffen, the perfect touch to Alex Johnson, a 32-yard gain to put Bureau Valley within striking distance. But on fourth down from the 19, EP's defense makes the stop. Ian Wirt chases down the quarterback for the sack. Fourth quarter, Bureau Valley looking to convert on fourth and three. But Sean Maloney and Austin Shoup converge for the tackle to turn it over on downs, and the Panthers convert it to more points. Binion scoots eight yards to pay dirt. The two-pointer is good, and Erie P-Down is on its way to a 36-25 triumph. This young bunch improves to four and one. We had to grab a little bit of momentum back. You know, our kids were kind of down in, in the locker room at halftime, you know, because we gave up that big one. So coming out in the third quarter and just establishing who we are again back on the ground was, was really big to, to start the second half. How big is it, too, that, you know, you just got to come to terms with the fact that that team can score? You know, you're going to mm -hmm. give up some points. You know, you just have to counter and have a couple key stops, right? Yeah, I mean, we came in telling our kids, I, I truly believe they have the, the best skilled kids in the league right now. Um, Parker Newhoffen is an incredible, incredible athlete. Um, so are there other skilled kids, the Meade, the Johnston kid. They just have some very, very nice skilled kids on the edges that can flat out run. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're bound to get that. They've got it on everybody this year so far. And obviously in the second half offensively, you're able to do what you love to do. It's ground and pound and work some clock. Yeah, we were. You know, and uh, I, I give our offensive line some credit there. They really got going uh, and got their motors turning a little bit. And uh, we got to play keep away from them. And that's that's really what we needed to do in the first half as well. Mm -hmm. This is a team, you know, uh, five weeks ago, people would have looked at and said, you know, they're young, you know, five and four would be great. And here you are, four mm -hmm. and one going into the stretch drive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we really are pretty junior heavy all the way through, you know, um, just a few seniors in there. But our, our senior 
seniors are, are still the leaders, though. I mean, Sean Maloney is a leader force out there defensively uh, every game for us. So, yeah, but we're, we're excited about the youngsters, too. Mm -hmm. Put your finger on what has developed you maybe in these uh, first five weeks, too, that uh, that wasn't there a, a month ago. Um, the, the speed, you know, the speed of the game, uh, they, they adjusted to that. I think really about week three they really got going as far as the speed-wise. Uh, and I think we, we've continually gotten better. Um, with adjusting our speed to the game. Mm -hmm. You know, when you, you come off a, a year like had last year when you knew you are going to be really good because you had so many guys, I mean, how fulfilling are moments like this when you see a team grow into itself and uh, you pull out great wins like this? It's huge. You know, we graduated 9 out of 11 on offense and about the same on defense. Um, you know, and the one returning starter that we had broke his leg last week on offense, so we were at 10 out of 11 new kids out here tonight, uh, and they're just, they keep coming along. Uh, you know, each and every week, and, and we're proud of them for their uh, for their progress. We've been keying uh, number seven and 44 uh, Mead. Uh, we knew they were going to be big and quick, especially on the outsides. Uh, they have a lot of tricky plays, and that's what we needed to do. Uh, keep them, contain the run outside, and just keep them throwing stuff in front of us. How big was composure? They score on uh, the first or second play of the game, and then the last, basically the last play of the first half. And uh, you guys come out and uh, score in your first possession of third quarter. Mm, uh, it was, it was tough, but we try to look uh, at one play at a time. You know, if we do something good, we'll pick uh, pick it up, try to do it better the next uh, next play. If we do it bad, uh, keep our head up, uh, keep our heads up, and get back better the next play. You guys have dealt with some injuries and stuff too, and a lot of youth too. Do you feel like uh, you guys are really growing up in great ways? And uh, now we're kind of at the mid-season uh, point now too. Oh yeah, uh, last week we lost our uh, our good lineman uh, Pedro Herrera, and uh, we had a lot of young guys, juniors, uh, step in and uh, do their jobs, uh, which is good. Uh, we just <laughs> fill in to do jobs, I guess. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ahead of schedule? You know, a lot of people at the beginning of the year might have said, man, they're so young, you know, if uh, five and four. I mean, you guys are in a great spot now, right Right now, heading into the second half of the season. Oh, yeah, we're, uh, I think we got six seniors, eight seniors. Uh, everybody else is all juniors, sophomores, so this team next year is going to be, I think, doing some good stuff next year. Mm -hmm. How big are moments like this for your young life, you know, that uh, you get to play in a, in a great atmosphere and yet you beat a really good team tonight, too? Uh, it's actually very fun. Uh, you know, being a team like that, you know, yeah, they were 1-3, but they play like they're a 4-0 team. Mm -hmm. So that was very nice to uh, come out on top tonight. It was back and forth the whole time. We, like, we didn't know what to expect coming out of half. Um, our line, defense, everybody just stepped it up, just played a good game the second half. Um, gave up a good, a couple big plays first half, but other than that, we came, we came back and made a couple of good stops and drove the ball down the field. I think teams kind of have to come to terms with the fact that that team can score at any time too. Is that something you just had to get over and say they're good? You know, they're they're going to put points on the board too. Yeah, we had to adjust our defense for that. Um, other than that, we played normal, and then we just made that adjustment for that because we knew they could throw the ball deep, and we, they have great athletes, so we had to adjust to that and see if we could stop it. Well, they cut it to one at halftime. How big was that first scoring drive of the second half for you guys? Oh, it was, it was so big. Just going down there, it changed it, the game, I think, because mm -hmm. uh, – it gave our defense motivation to go out there and get a big stop, which they got a couple big stops, and that's what we needed. Well, you guys were able to go in the second half, too, to, to really what you do so well is ground and pound, and, uh, you know, that's a, that's the game you want to play, right? Yeah, it's exactly how we want to play. We want to play fast and physical. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are in a great spot, 4-1, and one, you know, as you hit the stretch drive here with four uh, regular season games left. You know, what's the message now as you, as you hit the stretch drive? Just keep focusing on what we want to accomplish um, each game, one game at a time. Don't get ahead of ourselves and just keep just keep going. Mm -hmm. How fulfilling is it that you know this is uh, one of those years somebody might have labeled uh, rebuilding because you had uh, you know very few seniors and a lot of juniors on the team, and here you are four and one. It's it's a great feeling just knowing that we can still do it. Are you the one who's going to start Fellowship of Christian Athletes on your college, high school, or middle school campus just like they have at Erie, Prophetstown, and Bureau Valley? To find out how, you can contact me or check out our website at illowafca.org. With the FCA Game of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson.